என் எபிசிக்லி கியர் கன்சிஸ்ட் ஆஃப் த்ரீ கியர்ஸ் ஏ பி ஆஷோனின் கியர் ஏ ஹேஸ் செவன்டி டூ டீத் அண்ட் கியர் சி ஹேஸ் தேர்ட்டி டூ டீத் த கியர் பி மெஷஸ் வித் போத் ஏ அண்ட் சி அண்ட் கேரீட் ஆன் ஆம் இஎஃப் விச் ரொட்டேட்ஸ் அபவுட் தி சென்டர் ஆஃப் ஏ அட் எயிட்டீன் ஆர்பிஎம் so we need to find out the speed of gear b and c if a is fixed which means n a equal to 0 there are three gears a c b here number of teeth on a and c are known but number of teeth on b is unknown so first we need to find number of teeth on b we can easily find this using this relation db is nothing but diameter of gear b so this is a diameter of gear b then dc by 2 is nothing but radius of gear c so this is gear c then the radius is this one which is nothing but radius of gear a if you take gear a so this is a radius of gear a so diameter of gear b plus radius of gear c equal to radius of gear a this is a relation we already know that m is equal to diameter divided by number of teeth then diameter proportional to p here multiply this equation on both side by 2 2 db plus dc equal to de then replace t by t so this is an equation 2 db plus dc equal to de here dc value 72 then ta value T A value seventy two, T C value thirty two. From that, P B equal to twenty. Forty divided by two twenty. So this is number of teeth on gear P. Now I am going to use table to find the speed of gear B and C. First row, arm fixed. We are giving plus one rotation to gear C. Next row, arm fixed. We are giving plus x rotation to C. The difference between row and two, we are simply multiplying row one by x. We are adding plus y revolution. The difference between uh, the third column, we are adding plus y revolution to all the column. Then finally, total first column. Arm. arm is nothing but EF. Second column, we are giving plus one rotation to C. So second column C. Then C connected with B because the outer of C connected with outer of B. Then after C, B will come. Then B connect A. So after B, A will come. Arm fixed. So first zero. We are giving plus one rotation to C. So plus one. Next, we need to find out N B. So let's find the N B value. N B matches with N C. That is equal to T C divided by T B. Again, N C value one, N B equal to T C by T B. So that's what I have written T C by T B here. Here the difference is C and B. Look at gear C and B. Both are external contact, which means if C is plus, then B is minus. That's why I put minus sign here. So N B speed of gear B equal to minus T C by T B. Next we have to find out N A. 
एन ए एन ए इक्वल टू एन ए ए टचस विथ बी एन बी इक्वल टू टी बी डिवाइडेड बाय टी ए अगेन एन ए इक्वल टू एन बी मल्टीप्लाइड बाय टी बी डिवाइडेड टी व्हाट इस एन बी वैल्यू टेक ओनली दी मैग्नीट्यूड DC divided by TB that is NB again TB divided by TE so that's what I have written here the same value I have written here I can cancel TB on both sides so you will get TC by TE gear B contact with gear A internally internally means whatever the direction we have on B can be kept on A so this is minus TC by T. So you have to be very careful on choosing the direction. If both gears contact externally, then plus means minus, minus means plus. If both gear have internal contact means minus, minus, plus, plus. That's why here B and A has internal contact. That's why minus, minus. Then second row multiply first row by x x x tc by tb x tc by t third row we are adding plus y revolution then total we need to add 2 and c not 1 2 3 so we have to add row 2 and 3 y x plus y y minus x tc by tb y minus x tc by t a so this is last row problem statement if gear a is fixed which means n a equal to zero we need to find out speed of gear b and c so we need to find out gear of n b and n c so this is what we have to find out here y equal to 18 rpm x tc by ta equal to 0 again y equal to 18 tc 32 ta 72 x unknown equal to 0 from that you will get x equal to 40.3 this is x value from that we can find out speed of the gear c nc equal to x plus y y value 18 x value 40.5 when you add these two together you will get nc equal to 58.5 rpm here that plus represent counter clockwise direction the gear c rotates at a speed of 58.5 rpm in counter clockwise direction Next, we need to find out the speed of gear B. NB equal to Y minus X TC by TB. Here, Y value 18, X value 40.5, then TC 32, TB 20. When you substitute all these parameters, you will get NC equal to minus 46.8 RPM. Here, that minus sign represents clockwise rotation. The speed of gear B equal to 46.8 rpm in clockwise direction.